Sure. First of all, thank you for having for giving me this opportunity uh, today. I'm Zip Perman, the CEO and co-founder of Xroad. I actually started my journey with studying physics and philosophy, and then I completed a PhD in neurocognitive science. And over the last 12 years, I'm focused on the interjunction between data and physiology. This is what I'm excited for. At the beginning, it was only the brain, data for our brain, and we, I expanded it. And over the years, there are more and more part of our body that I'm interested in. And the current journey of Exod actually started several years ago. I met an amazing uh, professor, uh, Yael Hanin. She used to be the head of the Nanotechnology Center at Tel Aviv University. She's a world expert in the field of human machine interface. And I've asked her if she can find a solution for all this cumbersome equipment that we need in order to measure our brain. It took her five years, but once she brought a solution, it was so elegant, so beautiful. And we both decided that, uh, okay, there is something huge going on here. And we decided to establish Extra. So three years ago, we uh, established Extra. And since there, we are in this exciting journey together. Sleep is important. Actually, it's super important. You know, most of us spend almost a third of our life during sleep. And unfortunately, more than 40% of the population actually suffer for poor sleep. And we can say, okay, poor sleep, it's 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 affect our quality of life. We have like a hard day uh, in the, after a bad night, but it's not only quality of life. There is so much going on during sleep that affect our brain, our cognition, our immune system, our health. And once we start to understand it, that sleep it's not not a luxury. Sleep, in a way, is a key for our health. Once we start to understand it, and it seems that the clinical society and the academia start to understand the importance of sleep for many years, but this notion increased over the last few years. We start to understand that all this 40% that I mentioned before that suffer from poor sleep, there is a huge impact on their daily life and their, on their health. And when we start to, to, to see what we can do with health, so most of us are familiar with take some sleep pills, but it's not enough. There are so many aspects of our sleep that could impair or could be changed or could be transferred during time, during our age, during our stage of life. And without understanding what's going on during our health, we have a poor tool in order to treat it in a proper way. So I will say that sleep is a key for our quality of life, wellness, and our health. And I think that we understand that we need to have a better diagnosis tool of our sleep than we have today. And how we can measure sleep today? I think that most of you are familiar with sleep studies. So this is the medical solution in order to measure sleep. I will get to this PSD. It's called PSD, polysonography. But we see that there are more and more tools available for us as consumer. We are familiar with rings, watches, mattresses, and many other solutions. But all these solutions are wellness solutions. They don't give you the medical grade information that you need in order to have like a real diagnosis of the sleep. 
We have another group, very good and very successful group of tools that you can measure at home your sleep, mainly for sleep apnea, to measure your snoring and all kinds of breathing issues. They are very good tools. However, they focus on one or two disorders. There are more than 40 different sleep disorders today. And you can double the number if you also relate it to a clinical, other clinical disorder related to sleep. So besides the wellness solutions and the sleep apnea solutions, today you must go to the clinic to have a sleep study. You must go for the hospital, spend the night in the hospital, connected to the 30 electrodes. Actually sleep in someone else's bed. This is the golden standard that we have today. And I think the most, I would say, for me, I, I was shocked from the numbers that I've learned that from this test, there are more than 30% of this test that actually failed. So you go to the hospital or you take your child to the hospital, you spend the night there, and after all this activity, all this effort, and the child couldn't get to sleep in the hospital or removed too much because it's not his bed. And you don't have the result after such an effort. So we do understand that today there is a real need to find a way to measure it. Not in the hospital, at home, not a single night, several nights, to make our sleep mapping accessible for all of us. This is what we find that is missing today in sleep. We developed a unique solution, we call it Smart Skin. Smart Skin is actually sensors, multi-sensors that we can attach to our screen it's like a bandit, and it measures our electrophysiology signal of our body. And our body generates an electrical signal from our brain, from our muscle, from our heart, from our eyes. And with this smart skin, we actually measure all this information from your skin. So our solution consists from this unique sensor that allows to measure our skin and algorithm that allow us to reduce the noise that we have in the home environment. You know, you have all kinds of noise, electrical noise from your phone, from your electricity socket, from the partner, partner near you. So the solution of this unique sensor from one hand and the unique algorithm give us a solution that was unavailable until today. I can, uh, I, I hope that, the, that you can see it. This is an example of one of our sensors. We, it's a dry sensor. Unlike the hospitals that you need to have all kinds of gels or paste in order to attach it to the skin. This is our sensor. It's like a band-aid. And if I would take it out, you would see how flexible and stretchable it is. It's actually more flexible and softened from our skin. So we attach it to our skin, like you can see here. We can attach it to the skin. I connect it to a small device with electronic battery and Bluetooth device. And you can see it here. And that's it. Once I have the signal on me, I have the sensor connected to my body. We can get the, send the signals on an Android device, either a tablet or a phone. 
So basically, this simple electrodes that I can locate it on our head, on our hand, on our chest, replace all the electrodes and the cumbersome equipment that we are familiar today from the sleep study. And these solutions allow us, allows us to attach it to patients and healthy participants to measure the sleep, the brain activity, the heart activity, the muscle activity, and generate all this information remotely to the physician. And they can measure it for one, two, three days, week. They can actually use it not only for diagnosis. They can start some kind of treatment and to see whether the sleep improved. They can change all kind of well-being parameters in life. They can have nutrition change, exercise, and to see whether the sleep actually improved. They had a tool to take to their home and actually measure the sleep in a medical grade level for long term. It's not a short term measurement. It's a full night, several nights. At home, with full accessibility for this device, and the data access to the physician. This is our solution, what we call smart scan. Extras provide a platform. It's a unique platform in order to measure electrophysiology, all the signals that I mentioned before, brain, muscle, heart activity, and bring it into the natural environment. We are taking this super sensitive sensor that today are measured in the hospitals in very controlled area, very isolated room, and we take it to the most noisy environment that we can imagine, our home, to go out, natural environment. So this is where we are heading. This is where we are planning to bring our platform. And today in the uh, health system, we identified more than 100 different applications that use today electrophysiology tools in the hospital. Our aim is to bring solution for this application, or at least for most of them, and to make it accessible also for home use. So we can imagine all kinds of applications. Sleep is our first application. We can also talk about muscle measurement. With this electrode, surface EMG, we can measure muscle fatigue, symmetry and synchronization, and we can shorten rehabilitation process after injury. For example, knee injury or back injury or after surgery. We can also provide notification for a athlete when use it when the muscle get to a several uh, for specific thresholds that increase the chance for injury. But there are so many other applications on top of it. It could be relevant for epilepsy. Today, a patient uh, spent days, week in the hospital in order to monitor the uh, epilepsy seizures. We can have solution for home use. Today, there are people that use all kinds of halters with cables and all uh, other cumbersome equipment to measure the heart. We can provide a solution for this. There are so many applications that we can use it for health. And I think that even beyond health, I, I'm not sure beyond health it will be the right term, but we do understand that the world is changed, especially after the COVID. And people try to find solution 
in order to prevent the next uh, disorder, in order to treat them, to keep them healthy. So I believe that we can use the tool for the current disorder that we have today in the hospital. But I also think that this tool could help us in the field that we call wellness or between health and wellness, the prevention, in order to keep us all in a better condition to improve our quality of life and wellness. So I do think there is a huge potential in many applications for such a technology. 